I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your horoscope overview of Pisces for this coming week. There's a lot happening this week. Now, certainly you still have Venus sitting there in your solar fifth house. This is a very creative area of your chart. It's also a chart, an area of your chart where relationships can begin or advance. There is right at the start of the week, uh, even though you have Venus there, we also have um, the Sun right at the start of the week and Mercury. Now Mercury does have an opposition with Pluto. Pluto is sitting in your 11th house. This is very much an area of friendship and connecting with people. So you want to be careful of what and how you have a discussion. And you know, as I've said before, and I quite often write, it's not, you know, always about what you say. It's sometimes about how you say it. And it's really important with this um, transit. I feel this aspect that uh, you allow other people to have their say, okay? So you may not agree with them, um, and you probably won't, but uh, just to, you know, when you allow people to have their say, it, you validate them, and that's what helps to build relationships. And that's really what this is all about. It's about building relationships, and this area of your chart can certainly help you do that. Now, moving on to, the, on to your work. Um, in your solar sixth house, there's a new moon later on in the week on the 26th. Um, this, so with the new moon, it means the sun and the moon are both in this area. The sun is going to conjunct Jupiter also in this area of a chart, which moved in last week. This is very much an area of, as I said, work, but your day-to-day -day work and how you go about your routine and how effective and productive you are on a day-to-day. -day. So with all this happening in this area of your chart, it's a good time to review um, your work schedule, your routine, and just, you know, have a look at your goals, have a look at, you know, how you spend your your day and a great exercise to do if, even if you just do it for a couple of days if you can do it for a week even better write down every single thing that you do in, the, in a day I've done this and it's really effective and so then at the end of the day or the end of the week you can see well where is my time disappearing to <laughs> okay and once you know exactly you know is someone coming in and sort of robbing you of energy every day and that throws you off balance or, or what is it how can you be more productive now in your let's uh, have a look in your um ninth house because mars is going to move into this area it's a great time to learn something new take on some new studies particularly if it's going to help you with work okay and saturn in this area comes out of its retrograde transit um so you know that's that's a great thing too because it puts a bit more stability on what's happening um around that area of your life great for travel as well now, and the last thing is quite a lot happening this week, so I'm not going to go through every single sort of aspect, but in your solar second house, worth mentioning, uh, Uranus is going to come, going to go into a retrograde transit, does have a challenging square aspect towards the end of the week on the 25th with Mercury, um, so you want to be a little bit careful about conversations once again, okay? Not what you say always, but how you say it. Have a great week, Pisces. Love and luck to you. Thanks for watching.